San Francisco is one of the great cities of the world. Everybody wants to visit this city by the bay. And when they come, as they do by the thousands, they find the world-famous landmarks, Coit Tower, the fabulous bridges, and the heart of the city. Visitors are also inevitably attracted by the magnificent dome of San Francisco's City Hall. Dating from 1915, architects Blakewell and Brown designed it as a flamboyant assertion of San Francisco's triumph over the disastrous earthquake of 1906. Others are drawn here for different reasons. Filmmakers are using this tremendous edifice to shoot a movie about a different kind of police officer, a San Francisco detective known as Dirty Harry. Starring in the title role is Clint Eastwood. He and director Don Siegel prepare to film scenes in which a police officer faces challenges with better equipment and a wider knowledge of criminal behavior. Harry Guardino plays the chief of detectives. There is a movie tradition of cops and robbers, and though they play detectives in the style of the 70s, their roles compare with the styles of some of the great stars of the past. Like Humphrey Bogart, Eastwood takes on the same kind of situation with contemporary cool and a higher degree of effectiveness. Don't you try to get me. No. Not me, no. You're the one who wants to get yourself killed, not me. Always happens with you guys, you know? In the last minute, you always want to grab onto somebody, take somebody with you. Don't you go. Not me, brother. You rotten oh. ah! Robert Armstrong used a machine gun to enforce the law in 1935. Of course, the streets always take a beating, no matter what the year. But Clint Eastwood scarcely has to interrupt his lunch to pick off a trio of bank robbers. Oh! me that a 45 slug makes a hole about the size of a half dollar. A hole the size of a half dollar would let quite a lot of air into your metal, wouldn't it, Whitey? In 1933, William Powell lectured on ballistics. I'm beginning to lose patience. If you don't open up pretty quick, I'm going to let you have it right under the table. I'll rip a hole in you big enough to drive a Ford through, and I'm not playing. I'm going to give you the count of three. And if you don't talk... I swear, I swear, I don't know what you mean. You're yellow, Whitey, yellow. One. Two. Today, Eastwood's talk is more realistic and convincing, while at the same time, less uptight. Uh-uh. I know what you're thinking. You have to ask yourself one question, do I feel lucky? James Cagney, on the side of the law for a change, seems a little careless with the safety of a hostage, Margaret Lindsay. Come on, copper! Are you gonna let her have it? Where am I? Come on, copper, come on out and get it! <laughs> Eastwood finds that the cop he plays shows understandable frustration when his quarry pulls the same sort of trick. <laughs> Bogart was so tough that here in one of his most famous roles, he didn't even have to point his gun at the criminal to send him flying. Things are tougher in the 70s. Eastwood, as the San Francisco homicide detective, brings his weapon to bear to make a criminal raise his hands and surrender. 
In San Francisco City Hall, Clint Eastwood and the company now film another tradition, a sequence that features conflict and the mark of personal discipline on today's dedicated cop. Hello, the man is dangerous. Well, here, I'll read you this note, which was delivered at 8 o'clock this morning. To the city of San Francisco, you have double-crossed me for the last time. I'm warning you to have my $200,000 in a jet airplane ready and waiting. I will call mayor's office at one o'clock and tell you about the hostages, who I will be happy to kill if you don't do exactly what I say, Scorpio. Callahan? Willing to take the money to him? When are you people gonna stop messing around with this guy? He's gotta be stopped now. And I can't take that chance. I gave my word of honor on it, and he will not be molested. And that's a direct order, Callahan! Well, you can just get yourself another delivery boy. Departing from movie detective styles of the past, everything Clint Eastwood does in the film, from gunning down a sniper to chasing a gangster up a blind alley, he does in a personal way, a different kind of way. Dirty Harry's way.